Incredible day for the Australian explorer Predictive Discovery, who surprised the market with a massive maiden resource estimate at their Bancan project in West Africa. I'm Biko Konstantinos, and today I want to give you an overview of Predictive Discovery and their first maiden resource estimate. Hey, don't forget to like this video if you enjoy it, and please consider subscribing to my channel, and that would really help me out. Reading from the company's website, Predictive Discovery is a West African-focused gold explorer with a large portfolio of 100% owned and joint venture gold projects located across West Africa's famed Burmenian Greenstone Belt, one of the world's most gold-endowed greenstone belts, presenting great potential for significant gold deposits. The company's objective is to find large gold deposits and is actively exploring its 100% owned projects located in Guinea's highly prospective yet underexplored Seguru Basin, which contains Anglo Gold's world-class Seguri mine, which has a 10 million plus ounces with all projects close to widespread artisanal workings. So as you can see from the map here, um, here is the Bancan project, which um, they've just released their maiden resource estimate. Um, this is Guinea, so it's, it's uh, located in Guinea. They have these other projects um, in Guinea. Um, they also have some projects in Burkina Faso, and they have a number of joint venture type projects as well throughout this West African uh, region. And as you can, uh, as you heard, um, this Siguri uh, mine here is um, Anglo Gold's mine, a massive um, resource they have there. Very, very large um, gold deposit. So this whole area, as as um, some of you might have been following companies like um, West African um, and Perseus, they've got some great mines in this West African region. There's many other world-class mines within this region and it seems to be one of the most exciting regions for new gold deposits. And definitely, this is one of them. Predictive Discovery are calling the Bancan uh, project a once in a decade world-class gold discovery. And I agree with them. Now, if we look at their report, their main headline, 3.65 million ounces of gold um, as their maiden resource estimate. Um, metal metallurgical work, um, what they have found in their studies is no recovery issues identified. So recovering the gold, they cannot um, see any issues there. High grade zone um, presents significant potential for future growth. So there is looking very promising that this isn't it, it's still growing. Uh, 17 months since their first drilling success at the Bancan project through until um, this uh, release of this maiden mineral um, maiden resource estimate, which is a very quick time frame, especially for such a large uh, resource estimate. Now, the discovery cost is quite good, uh, Australian $4 per ounce. So that's a, um, uh, it's been quite economical uh, in drilling and um, basically being able to provide this uh, estimate. And also they have a very prospective uh, region. Their projects are extremely prospective. Like we mentioned, West Africa is the go zone for gold discoveries at the moment. Now looking at their mine modeling, uh, they are modeling based on open pit mining which is um, excellent and a very economical way to mine. And as you can see uh, via this graph, we have um, quite uh, high grades in the orange section, but this red section is extremely high grades of 
gold and is, pr is partly, uh, well probably the main reason why their uh, maiden resource estimate is so large because there's so much gold contained in that um, high grade gold area. If we look down to this next slide, um, based on their modeling, they, um, they've, based, they've put here on the chart that it's still open. The um, high grade gold area is still open at depth. So that is why they um, are very confident that um, this resource will keep growing and who knows how large it will grow. I'm going to cross now to an interview with Managing Director Paul Roberts and um, his explanation regarding future potential uh, for predictive discovery. Remind us, you did say, Paul, but you see good potential here to grow the resource further. Tremendous potential, yes. So, um, uh, and in fact, it's really quite interesting. In the, in the bottom 100 metres uh, of, of elevation in that high grade zone, uh, there's about half a million ounces. That's just at the plus three gram cutoff. That doesn't include the other material, which is which is lower grade, still useful grade, but lower grade than that. Um, and so that's 5,000 ounces per vertical meter. Um, and right in the floor of this, of this optimized pit shell, uh, you can see that it looks as if it's con uh, continuing. We're drilling deeper than that right now. Uh, we're actively looking uh, to go deeper. Um, that kind of material is, you know, we haven't done the study, obviously, but it looks as if it would be highly economic. Um, you know, the, the, the benchmark is um, 1,000 ounces per vertical metre. This, this exceeds this, uh, you know, in spades, really coherent. So a lot of potential to go to depth. More potential to go to uh, Bankang Creek. We haven't drilled the extent of, of the, the Bankang Creek. And of course, there's potential elsewhere when I might roll in straight into that. And the potential elsewhere is um, uh, around uh, with one and a half, within uh, one and a half kilometers of Northeast Bank. And we found a new zone. Uh, we've, we've just um, announced results last week. Um, very high grade material, very shallow depths. Um, looks as if there's potential for another zone. Don't know how big, but clearly more potential to find more gold there. Um, and then elsewhere on the, 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 um, the property package, we're seeing very, uh, very positive indications. There's no doubt that this is a very well mineralized part of the Earth's crust. Lots of discovery to come. Areas that we don't even know about, which are going to, we're going to learn about in the years ahead. So, um, and obviously active, actively exploring those areas as we speak. Let's have a look at the capital structure for predictive discovery. They have 1.35 billion shares on issue, which is quite a lot of shares on issue, but for such a great um, discovery, it's no issue for them. They have cash of 24 million. There's a market capitalization of 208 million, uh, but that was based on the share price of 16 cents. As you'll see in a second, the price has risen dramatically today. So that um, 16 cents, uh, the equivalent market cap now has risen uh, quite a lot now since that price rise today. Looking at the price chart for predictive discovery, we can see the price surged based on the initial Bancan uh, drilling success. This was back in April 2020. So since then, it um, consolidated those gains. So it never ever looked like going back based on the quality of the drilling success. And so recently, we've had a bit of a spike. Um, we've hung around above 10 cents. Uh, today, it's actually surged higher um, based on the amazing uh, maiden resource announcement so we're currently trading around this 24 cent mark which is quite incredible and the more incredible thing when you think about this rise in predictive discovery is that it's against the backdrop of an extremely weak gold sector uh, many gold uh, many gold stocks are currently trending lower have been for the last few months 
but predictive discovery has basically you know surged higher shown extreme strength based on absolutely incredible finds drilling success and delivering an exceptional maiden resource estimate at their Bancan project. So one thing you could consider is imagine if the gold sector was hot, what could be happening here? It's pretty amazing. I hope this has given you a good overview of predictive discovery. If you want to learn more about the company, I would recommend uh, going through their announcements start with this maiden resource announcement it's very exciting times for the company uh, they have done extremely well shareholders who have been with them are very very excited they'll be very very excited with the share price for one but also just with the amazing prospect the amazing um, amount of resources that they've been able to find in such a short time but also the incredible opportunity to continue adding resources it could be a bonanza so all the best to shareholders and all the best to um, prospective shareholders who are in, in uh, who are investigating this company who knows if you buy in now you could also do extremely well i don't have an idea where the share price will go but it certainly looks very exciting for this company. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked it, and I'll catch you next time.